Hi guys, so today I want to talk about a very important topic and that is how to choose a career and how not to end up in a place you don't want to be in, in a place that you would be unhappy. You see, the thing is that all our choices, the actions that we make in our lifetime is affected by our worldview, our inner beliefs and the values that we support and so on. For example, if you want to support others and help them, you might end up as a policeman or firefighter. If you value money, you will be a businessman or if you believe that humanity will destroy itself, you probably will become a scientist who wants to build a rocket and fly away onto Mars and start colonizing it. You see, your choices are affected by your inner world, by your character, and it's even more than that. It goes even deeper because we're social beings and psychology is a mix of everything. For example, you want to become a bodybuilder or a strongman only to prove others that you are strong. Maybe someone, when you were young, told you that you were weak you will never be strong, you will never be able to help others and that's your trigger. Maybe you want to prove everyone that you are beautiful and desirable, you will become an actor. So it's a mix of everything, but that's life and that's interesting. So I would say the first important thing is to understand yourself, to understand what you value, how do you see the world, how do you accept it, as opposed to just choose a career in order to follow what other people say. But that's okay, you see, the thing is that we end up in a place we don't want to be in because at the young age, we don't make any choices, we don't decide. Because we don't know what is good, what is bad. All those choices are made by parents as anything that they do, be it bad or good, we as a child see as a normal thing. This is our fundament. So we don't choose, we just follow along. And if we are not lucky, we end up in a bad place. And then at some point we become conscious, we start to decide for ourselves. And this realization can happen any time in your life. You might wake up and realize that the job you're doing does not resonate with us. It does not support our values. We don't support those values. We just do it because we need money. We need to survive. And then you realize, okay, something needs to be done. Something needs to be changed. Let me show it to you visually. Let's say as a young boy, I want to become a taxi driver. You talking to me? You talking to me? because I associate cars and driving as freedom, fun and happiness. A better choice would be to become a car racer. But let's say I did grow up and I became a taxi driver. Let's say my father was a taxi driver. Well, then who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. Because being a taxi driver is work. You have to show up on time and earn money to survive. It's not what I was looking for when I was a child. It doesn't bring me any freedom, any happiness or joy. I could be stuck there with a job or decide to change. Let's say I start to associate my freedom and the joy and happiness with money. I become an office worker and I start to earn enough to live a good life. And then I learn that I really want to spend more time with my friends and family. By staying in that job, I will not get what I really desire. Then I start to dislike my job again. That's the point when I have to change. So I need to get creative here. I either need to build a business that will work for me or create a business involving my family together that is connected with traveling around the world. Let me give you another example. Let's say you are a very social person. You like to chat, you like to talk, you like to express yourself. So you get involved with acting. And through hard work you became a famous actor and you earned a lot of money. But you feel that something is wrong, you're still not happy. And through psychotherapy you learn that you want to socialize with other people and be famous because you want attention and you want to prove yourself that you are worth something. And then something switches in you and you figure out that you don't really need this anymore. And you stop acting because you don't value being famous, you're not after money, you're not after proving anything to anybody and you change completely. And that is the point when you change your career. As you have got skill in acting, maybe you can start teach acting and help others to become actors. Or maybe you see the value in learning about your inner self and you become a psychotherapist in order to help others to understand what they really want in order not to end up in a place that you did. I think you've got the point. So it is inevitable for your career to change because we learn new things in our life. You yourself do change. Therefore, the career of ours should change, otherwise we will be unhappy where we are. And unfortunately, we do not want to change because we associate it with insecurity. We want to be secure, that's why we want to be constantly stable in one place. But that's life. We live to change, so we should stop wanting to be comfortable staying in one place. So don't be afraid to change your career. You see, we change, and that is a normal process of life, as anything that does not move is dead. The first thing we should do is realize who we are, what we value, and that automatically will open the path to places you resonate with. So go out, experience the world, only then you can find about yourself. If you don't know who you are, you will never know what you value. 
you will never know what you believe in. You see, you cannot serve others if you don't know what you stand for, if you don't know what you have, nothing to give. So nobody can tell you what you need to do in your life, only you know for yourself what you need to follow. If you honestly listen to yourself and the world, the career will manifest in different forms and it might change in your lifetime because you will change, your values will change. And that is normal to change your career or maybe to use it in a different way, to use your skills that you learned in one place and apply it in another. In other words, the career will evolve with you. But how to know what you really want? How to choose the job that really resonates with you? How to know what you value, what you're looking for? I found that there is a connection between the careers that I desired through my lifetime. Well, I will share my story with you as I believe it will be easier for you to understand through example here. I broke down job choices that I wanted to pursue from a childhood till today. From the childhood I always wanted to be a taxi driver because I could drive everywhere, anywhere I like. But little did I know that you cannot drive anywhere, you have to pick up people and so on. Then I wanted to become a banker. I was thinking that if you work at the bank, you own money, but you didn't. Just work and get your paycheck each month. And then I wanted to become a movie star, you know, become an actor, become famous, also rich. So everybody would want to hang out with me. But acting didn't work for me. There were different circumstances I will not go into. And then at one point I started to learn about myself. I just started to read about things, learn about things, about history, philosophy, about mythology and so on. And then I realized I just was looking for an answers for myself. I was always believing that there's something more than real life. The fact that we exist proves that anything is possible. And then I found some books that made me realize and think about myself, who am I and what am I doing in this, in this life. That's how I opened up more for myself. I remember when I was a child with my brother, we were always creating stuff, you know, comics, uh, games on paper. Probably many kids do that, you know, but after reality strikes, you start to work and you kind of forget your inner creator. So I decided to create, become a director and make movies. And I started to study in film school. I tried many, many production stuff out there, you know, from camera assistant, to light assistant and office and so on. And I did that like that, you know, I didn't like to be in the field when there was cold or raining. So I started to be involved in post-production, which is editing and creating effects. And what I do is I take the shots from the film and I integrate another element into it. For example, it can be a 3D tank, photorealistically looking as if it is in the shot. And then I remembered, as I was wanting to prove that it is more than real, I kind of joined this goal with my visual effects career, where I have a fake things integrated into reality. So I wanted something unreal in life. Therefore, creating the illusions through acting, visual effects and stories kind of made sense for me. So by looking into the past and breaking down all of the career choices that you wanted to follow, you can figure out and find out what is it that you value and what are you looking for. And not only the choices that you did pursue, but also those that you forgot about, as those are the most valuable ones. I believe there are many other ways how to find out uh, what you really value, what you want to do. But that's what I figure out in my life. So to conclude all of this, the answer will not come to you straight away. You will need time in order to find out what you really value, what you're looking for. Give it a time, don't rush, experience life, listen to it and follow along. Because if you honestly listen to yourself, the career will manifest itself through the environment. But prepare yourself. During your lifetime, you will change. Therefore, your career might change. You will need to change the job place. If level two is all you need, then I'm happy for you. There are many other ways to grow in your career by being employed without becoming a freelancer. Stay there, grow and be promoted and uh, enjoy yourself in an environment that resonates with you. But if you want to become a freelancer and move further, then subscribe to this channel because I will put more videos about freelancing and how to become one step by step. Thank you for your patience and stay tuned.